Cordy. Tisha, as we look forward uh, to spending Christmas with our families, there are many people who will not have the type of Christmas that they wished for. For many people, it will be their third year that they will have spent Christmas Day in emergency accommodation as a direct result of your policies. We see today from the Central Bank report that banks in this state hold in excess of 3,000 200 properties. When you include vulture funds, that figure increases to 3,715. And the majority of these are family homes, Tisha. The majority of these are held by banks which this state has a majority shareholding in. For example, Permanent TSB told us last June that they had 2,000 properties. Now, Tisha, in anybody's books, it's an absolute scandal and a travesty that state-owned banks have so many empty properties at a time when we have so many children and adults who are in emergency accommodation, when we have so many people who can't find rental accommodation and when the property market is, is out of reach for so many individuals out there. Can I ask you, what is the government going to do? Because this is not a new phenomenon. Thank this you, has been going on year after year and there's been no uh, any action from the government in this regard. Minister Murphy. Question. Um, it is a very difficult time for families in emergency accommodation and the policy responses that we're putting in place is to try and get families out of hubs as quickly as possible and into homes. At the moment, my department and the housing agency is engaging with the banks to take possession of their vacant stock and at the moment there is almost a thousand homes uh, that will be coming in through the acquisition programme being led by the housing agency and more on top of that through local authorities and I'll have details on that uh, at the start of next year.